In this video, question of the day today directed to Mr. Barack Obama. Why are you gay? You are gay. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about that. Plus, we are going to give you details and information that prove for sure Obama was gay. Probably this is why. There was a media concerted effort to suppress those stories when Barack Obama was running for president of the United States. Let's listen to what Tucker Carlson had to say about that. 2008, it became really clear that Barack Obama had been having sex with men and smoking crack. And a guy came forward, Larry Sinclair, and said, I'll sign an affidavit. And he did. I'll take a lie detector. And he did. I smoked crack with Barack Obama and had sex with him. Well, that was obviously true. Nobody reported it, not because they were squeamish about sex or drugs, but because the Obama campaign said anyone who reports on this gets no access to the Obama campaign. And so they didn't report on it. So that happens. That's just one small example. But that happens all the time with lots of different issues. That's a pretty big one. Many times. If we saw him pressure our president, African president, to embrace gay rights. This evidence has been provided by very notable people, and the sources are very legit. From the mouth of a Secret Service agent, whose name I cannot remember, but who worked for Barack Obama and his family, and he said that while Barack Obama was in office, again, this is coming from a Secret Service agent, that they would help sneak young men into the White House. It was not a secret of sorts that Barack Obama was sleeping with these young men, and that was just a part of their job. Unbelievably, the press never found out about this, which happens sometimes. Sometimes you can actually drop off crack cocaine at the White House, and they don't know who did it. So yeah, the government can be super hush-hush when they want to be, and of course the media will help them bury those facts. But let's go backward because- And make sense, Harold. We know, at times we understand that Africa is poor, but it's poor by, and made by design. And why would they hide that Obama was gay? Now I understand the whole scenario. If you study about CIA, if you study the information and the way they work, we understand why it was good for them to have Obama being gay and a person who was uh, taking crack. crack. In regards to the Obama incident, I flew out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, to Chicago on November 2nd, 1999, arriving in O'Hare early in the morning of November 3rd. I went to the Chicago area to attend the graduation of my godson, my best friend's son, from basic training from the Great Lakes Navy Training Facility. I made reservations at the Comfort Inn and Suites in Gurney, Illinois, based solely on the location to the training center. On November 5th, 1999, I hired the services of Five Star Limousine. <coughs> Excuse me. I had hired them both for November 5th and November 6th of 1999. On November 6, 1999, I asked the limo driver, whose name I now reveal for the first time, Jagir Paramit Mutani, if he knew anyone who would like to socialize and show me Chicago. Mr. Mutani understood that I was looking for someone who knew Chicago and would enjoy socializing. Mr. Mutani said he knew someone who was a friend of his. On November 6, 1999, after picking me up at the hotel in Gurney, and this is significant, Mr. Mutani used his cell phone to make a call. That call was made to then Illinois State Senator Barack Obama to set up an introduction between myself and Senator Obama. Upon arriving at the bar and exiting the limo, Senator Obama was standing next to Mr. Mutani, and I was introduced to Senator Obama by name. Later that evening in a bar, which I believe was called Alibis, and I state believe because I have failed so far to get Citigroup to provide the credit card receipts that has the actual name. <coughs> I mentioned I could use a line or two to wake up. Senator Obama asked me if I was referring to Coke, and I stated I was. After stating I was, Obama stated he could purchase cocaine for me and then made a telephone call. This too is significant from a cell phone to a presently unknown individual during which Senator Obama arranged the cocaine purchase. Senator Obama and I then departed the bar in my limousine and proceeded to an unknown location where Senator Obama exited the limousine with $250 which was provided to him by me. 
returned a short while later with an eight ball of cocaine, which he gave to me. I did ingest a couple of lines of cocaine, and shortly thereafter, Senator Obama produced a glass cylinder pipe and packet of crack cocaine from his pocket. Obama then smoked the crack cocaine. I performed fellatio on Senator Obama in the limousine during the time Senator Obama was smoking crack cocaine, after which I had the driver take me to my hotel, the Comfort Suites, Gurney, Illinois. The following day, November 7th, 1999, Senator Obama appeared at my hotel room, unannounced, uninvited, where we again ingested cocaine and I again performed fellatio on Senator Obama. You know, I have noted our Kenyan media and most African media have ignored this story. And this was aired at Kadesa Owen podcast on Daily Wire. This is someone who is, uh, he can't state things out of nowhere. This is a big YouTuber and this is a big uh, media station. So, sharing that, that kind of information, this is not from any kind of a blogger. Why would you, do you think that our Kenyan media have ignored this story? Uh, one, they state that um, the sources is a uh, was a person who was involved in the security of the president back then, who have shared this. Two, there's a person who said, Obama was my boyfriend. Now you understand why. His main agenda for Africa was to embrace gay rights. I've said many times, I don't celebrate Obama for many good reasons. Because for one, he never stopped siphoning of African resources. He never pushed for African sovereignty. He never pushed for black rights. But he was so much interested in pushing rights of the people who belong to LGBTQ plus group, which is okay, I have no problem. But we, as Africans, how would we celebrate that kind of a person? Yeah? You know, the pressure of uh, this issue is so much that even communicating this on my YouTube program, is that it can lead to this between being closed because we don't have a voice. People who believe in uh, heterosexuality have no voice. You're not saying that someone cannot be gay. They have a right if they want to. But the question is, are we shunning freedom? Are we destroying freedom for people to express and giving others freedom to express? That's not my point for today. The today is, why did the media hide? And why is it even now? Kenyan media is ignoring this story. Eh, mambo ni mangumu, ena chamuka. Let me see the next video.